Hello my fellow Vestarians, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video I'm going to be explaining the upgrading system on the MMORPG called Vestaria. Now I've been asked a lot of questions about this so I'm going to be discussing what scrolls are, how to use them, where to obtain them, when to use them, when not to use them, as well as how to make purple tiers, red tiers, gold tiers, and green tiers. So if you're interested in that, make sure you stick around. If you're only here for the gold tier giveaway, I will have the timestamp posted in the description below. Make sure you guys join the Discord. We have lots of informational stuff on there. But without further ado, let us jump right into it. Alrighty, fellas. It is time to let y'all in about this game's upgrading system. So to get us started, you need to understand that there is a tier list. And within that tier list, there is a point system. But I'll get to that once I'm done finishing this tier list. So there is a total of six tiers first one being a dull item i don't currently have one on me but just know it is any drop with negative stats on it the next tier is blue tier also known as clean gear this means you haven't applied any scrolls on it and do keep in mind there is only seven scrolls you can apply to a specific gear you can apply eight you can apply nine it's only seven then you apply some scrolls and then you reach purple tier you apply some more scrolls you reach red tier you apply some more scrolls you reach gold tier you apply some more scrolls and then you finally reach green tier which is the last tier now this isn't as easy as it sounds just know that you need luck for these to actually tier up okay so the point system uh you need to know that there is a certain amount of points that you need for your tier to level up to the next but before we get into that, you also need to take note that the stats that are already on your gear that comes with the gear do not apply to this point system. The only stats that apply to this point system are the stats that are in parentheses. So you see on this web staff, it says plus 18 and plus 2 in parentheses. Those are the only points that apply to this point system. If you see on this fierce as a rise edge, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it says plus 10% crit chance. That does not apply to the point system because that already comes with the fierce as a rise edge. If you see the 22, the 20, the 12, and the one those are all in parentheses so those are the only ones that apply in this point system so let's say you have your blue tier and you want to level up to purple tier the required amount of points you need for purple tier is 10 points then you want to move it up to the red tier the required amount of points for that is 21 points the required amount of points for gold tier is 32 points and then the required amount of points for green tier is 49 points now to apply these stat points to your weapon you need to have scrolls and there is a large variety of them but Nitro, what are they and how do I get my hands on these so-called scrolls? Well, scrolls are basically used to upgrade your gear. And as of right now, there are only three types of scrolls. First of which is the defense scroll, the attack scroll, and a headgear scroll, which I don't currently have right now, but you use a headgear scroll to upgrade your headpiece. And then you have an attack scroll which upgrades your weapon you cannot use these on your headpiece or your armor and then you have the defense scroll which you can only use on armor pieces such as my hobo armor you cannot use these on weapons so before i forget and this is a little bit tricky so make sure you're paying attention as i said before there are only seven scrolls you can add to a weapon or an armor piece maximum this is excluding the headpiece because you can only add three scrolls to every headpiece so that is out of the picture now back to our weapons let us look at this web staff at the top it says plus four that means i have applied four scrolls to this weapon and at the bottom above the venom bomb it says zero upgrade attempts remaining that means i failed three scrolls you do the math that adds to plus seven well what are failed scrolls uh well if you look at these scrolls they each have a percentage of success and failure well if we look back on our basic scrolls these say 100 percent chance of succeeding that is why they add so little stats if we move on to the great scrolls these great scrolls have 70 percent chance of succeeding and 30 percent chance of failure that is why when you look back on this web staff it has zero upgrade attempts remaining that means it has three failed attempts then if you look onto our ancients, uh, these are different than the ancient attack. So we have ancient ints, we have ancient decks, we have ancient vit, we have ancient strength and ancient attack. But I'll get into that a little bit later. But these are all 10%. These four, the varianted ones, the strength, vit, ints, and decks are all 10%. And then you have the ancient attack that is 15% then we have the curse scrolls and there are two types of curse scrolls we have the cursed weapon attack and the cursed weapon defense they have 60 percent chance of succeeding and 40 percent chance of failing now there is a reason why they are called curse scrolls because in that 40 percent chance of failure they have a 20 percent chance of having a safe fail which means if you use it and it fails it will not blow up your weapon 
but there is also a 20% chance of it actually blowing up your weapon so do use these with caution now let's move on to the holy scrolls now these suckers are way different than all of these because they don't actually upgrade your weapon or your armor piece they are here to revive failed attempts and as i said before on this web staff it says zero upgrade attempts remaining that means we failed three attempts if you want to have those attempts back so that you could scroll it furthermore you use your holy scroll to revive those attempts and uh its percentage is weird because it decreases by 20 percent every time it succeeds on a weapon or armor piece so let's say this weapon has 100 percent holy that means i haven't used any holy scrolls on it before so if i were to use this holy scroll it is guaranteed to work if i go back to it and i want to use another holy scroll let's say i failed two more attempts during that revival then it is 80% chance because like I said, it decreases 20%. So it'll be 80% chance of success and 20% of failure. So let's say if it does work and I go back, then it'll be 60% chance of succeeding. I go back and it goes down to 40% chance. Then it goes down to 20% chance. Then it goes down to 10% chance. So it doesn't go down automatically zero from 20 to zero. It'll go down to 10% and then it'll go down to 5% and it will not go any lower than that. So every time you use that many Holy Scrolls, on a weapon or an armor piece the lowest it could go it will be five percent so there will always be a small percent chance of it actually succeeding but it is very unlikely for that to happen then we have our ancient scrolls and there is a total of five which i actually have all of them in my inventory right now so we have the ancient int the ancient dex the ancient vits the ancient strength and the ancient attack notice how they all say weapon because you can only use ancients on your weapons you cannot use these on armor pieces okay so just take note of that now we have the ancient ints all of these scrolls add plus four attack and plus three of whatever variant they are so if you go to this ancient it'll add plus four attack plus three int this dex will only add plus four attack plus three dex this vits will add plus four attack plus three vits and then we have the strength which will add plus four attack and plus three strength uh the attack is a little bit different because it'll only add plus five attack nothing else but it is 15% chance of succeeding, which is 5% more than these other variant scrolls. They are all 10% chance of succeeding. They are low chance because they add so much for a low percent chance of success. So that pretty much wraps it up for the functions of these scrolls. There is one more scroll called the reset scroll, but you don't have to worry about that because it is no longer in the game as of right now. But basically, if you were to use it on your piece, it would reset everything. Most players who have them are hoarding it or overpricing them as they should because they are pretty darn valuable. So now we are in the end game. The last thing you need to understand about these stat points is how to calculate them because you want to know when your tier is going to level up to the next tier. And the best way to do that is to calculate them. So we're going to be using this red tier keen web staff as an example. But for now, let us move on to this PDF Brezza has made it is the stat points pdf the scrolling update system so let us scroll up to over here we have all the stats that you could obtain from a scroll you have the four variants which is strength int dex and vit then you have hp mp stamina block chance and crit chance we scroll down here and we have our four variants which is strength int dex and vit any of these that you get from a scroll you have to multiply by 0.7 so let us move back to our little example we see we have 16 in parentheses of int. You have to multiply that by 0.7. Let me calculate that real quick. And then we get 11.2. Then we add that to 12 because any weapon attack you have is the amount of points itself. So 12 attack in parentheses would be 12 points. So then we add those together and that equals 23.2. Now we want to know when it'll level up to gold tier. Well, the required amount of points for gold tier is 32 points. So we subtract 32 by 23.2 and we only need 8.8 .8 points left and the same goes for the rest of the variants so if you look at this green tier and scissor it has 26 decks and six strength you have to add the 26 plus the six and then multiply that 0.7 and then add that to 27 and that'll overall get over 49 points that is why this is green tier now let us move on to the other stats which we have um one second okay we have uh hp mp stamina block and crit chance any block chance or crit chance you get you have to multiply by 0.5 yes that is right 0.5 every time and then you add that to the other stats then any stamina you get it acts the same as weapon attack so if you have two stamina you'll have two points one stamina is one point three stamina is three points 
so that's pretty easy and then you have hp and mp these are pretty easy stats these two sets of stats come in 20 so you'll always come with 20 hp or 40 hp or 60 hp same with mp you'll have 20 uh, 40 or 60 mp and all you have to do is for every 20 you just it's one point so if you have 20 hp applied to a weapon that is one point if you have 40 hp applied to a weapon that's two points if you have 60 hp applied to a weapon that's three points same thing with mp so it's pretty self-explanatory and then we have two more stats and there's a reason why they aren't up here because they do not contribute to stat points and they are mp recovery and hp recovery if we get these from a scroll they do not contribute to your points so do not add them to the other points in order to calculate when your tier is going to level up but that's pretty much it that is how you calculate all the stat points and how you'll know when your tier will level up now that we have that down pat let us move on to where you could obtain these scrolls so first i'm going to explain uh which scrolls you can buy from the shop and then after i'll explain where you can get them as drops so the first one we have is the baked scrolls there's a reason why these guys are basic because you could straight off the bat just buy them for 15 and 12 silver and i'll have a picture up briefly but uh it isn't that hard to obtain like i said before i wouldn't use these on valuable items but if you want to get those they are in the nilgarf shop for you to purchase then we have ourselves the great scrolls yes the great attack great defense and great headgear you could purchase these scrolls from the mush apoc shop which is located in mush town they cost about 30 mushrooms each mush apoc is basically a self-defense wave for levels 10 to 20 it is not that hard you get around 30 mushrooms per wave so you could practically buy one scroll per wave also not many people know this but you could purchase the great attack scroll from the coliseum which is a pvp arena go check out our previous video for only 20 valor then we have the ancient scrolls and currently there aren't any shops in the game that sell these ancient scrolls so you can only get them as drops now you have the curse scrolls which are probably the most used scrolls in the game there are two current shops that sell these bad boys you have the coliseum shop that sells the attack scrolls strictly for 300 valor i definitely do not recommend you buy that because it is way overpriced and probably outdated and then there is the spider queen dungeon that sells both of these for 150 and 120 spider eggs which you obtain by running the dungeon and they drop about seven eggs each run and lastly we have the holy scroll which can be purchased from two shops one being mush apoc which can be purchased for 200 golden mushrooms and the other one being the spider queen's dungeon which can be purchased for 225 royal eggs that's pretty much all you need to know about where to purchase these scrolls from the shops now let us move on to where you could obtain them from drops so if you are uncertain about where you can find these as drops or you're a noob i recommend you guys go buy the bounty book it is 399 robux and this thing has all the mobs in the game as well as their drops and it gives you a little bit of some silver maybe gold if you kill a certain amount of that specific mob i'm not going to review all the mobs that drop these scrolls in the game because there is just that many but i am going to discuss the mobs that i grind myself to obtain these scrolls so to get us started we have the basic scrolls i don't normally grind these for drops if i actually need them i'll just buy them from the shop they aren't that valuable so those can be out the picture then we have our great scrolls we have the great weapon and the great uh defense you can get those from spider queen if you deal enough damage to her she'll drop around one to three each run uh you have the attack scroll for 5% drop and then you have the defense scroll which is a 4% drop pretty easy then you have the great headgear you can obtain the great headgear scroll from the yeti boss which spawns every hour this guy has a 2.5% chance of dropping i don't get it that often but when i need him that's what i grind moving on to our ancients we have the ancients int and the ancient vit i grind these both from the spider queen herself she drops them both and they both have a 2.5% drop of dropping then we have the ancient dex and the ancient strength to obtain these two i go to a high level area which is called the dunes and i farm these mobs called the bandits there's two types of these mobs you have the bandit skirmisher and the regular bandit the regular bandit is the one with the sword and then the regular uh bandit skirmisher is the one with the bow the one with the bow is what drops ancient dex scrolls it has a 1.04 percent chance of dropping and then the one with a sword drops ancient strength scrolls which is also a 1.04 percent chance of dropping as for our ancient attack uh these are kind of weird they just recently upgraded them so not many people were grinding them before but if you want to obtain these they drop from ratties and uh baddies which are these guys located in the sewers they have a 0.08% chance of dropping uh, for the baddies they have uh, the same thing 0.08% chance of dropping 
then we have our curse scrolls i grind these bad boys down in the dunes uh these guys drop from different mobs you have curse attacks dropping from octafiti which is a boss who spawns every five minutes if there is more than 20 players in the server and he spawns every 10 minutes if there's less than 20 players in the server same thing goes for curse defense but these guys drop from syracuse the impaler which also does the same time management so lastly we have our holy scroll which isn't normally farmed as a drop because it is just so darn rare but if you do get lucky enough to get it as a drop it drops from possum the devourer which is located down in the pits which is a level 35 required leveling area and it has a 0.06 51% chance of dropping so kudos to you if you do get it as a drop this is the only mob that drops our holy scroll and that ladies and gentlemen pretty much sums it up for the Vesteria's upgrading system i hope you guys learned a lot i hope you guys use this useful information for making your god tier gear but without further ado i will catch you guys in the gold tier giveaway welcome to the gold tier giveaway this gold tier giveaway is for the subs i just came back from explaining visteria's upgrading system if you aren't familiar with the ins and outs of visteria's upgrading system i definitely recommend you guys go check that out because it is pretty informational now i am here to showcase the gold tiers we'll be giving away there will be a total of three gold tier winners all you need to do to apply is comment your roblox username and your discord tag if you do not have discord then just comment your roblox username and if you do happen to win i will send you a friend request and we could talk on the app now the gold tiers that we'll be giving away is this gold tier rad vest with plus 31 defense, plus 1 in, plus 1 bit. Then we have this fierce Azurize edge with plus 22 weapon attack, plus 20 MP, plus 12 strength, plus 1 int. And lastly we have this King Mocha dagger with plus 29 weapon attack and plus 10 int. Now the submissions deadline will be this week Sunday at 5 p.m. EST. Yes that is right this week Sunday at 5 p.m. EST. I will be taking no more submissions after that and then I will announce the winners on monday at 5 p.m est yes that is right 5 p.m est on monday the winners will be announced and i will announce them in a separate video using a raffle called the pickle wheel if you aren't familiar with what that is you could check out our previous videos it is pretty easy and fun to use so that pretty much wraps it up for today's go to your giveaway uh, i hope you guys the best of luck and i will catch you guys in the next video